Okay, let's look at questions here. Um, Richard asks, Rick, this morning's email from said the webinar started at 1. Oh, no. Well, actually, it doesn't look like very many people are joining or have joined. But shoot, that's really crummy. I'm sorry about that. It said it started at 1. Okay, well, those of you who got an email saying the thing started at 1, I'm very sorry about that. Kent asks, what are the main benefits for WP Engine? I actually covered that at the very beginning, but the main benefits for WP Engine are... If I can find my notes again. Main benefits for WP Engine are the one-touch backup and one-touch restore. Um, the staging server to test on before moving live. Servers optimized for WordPress speed and speed without having to mess around with caching plugins. And then bulletproof security without, you know, screwing up uh, complex uh, plugins. Most security uh, plays havoc with uh, complex WordPress sites. And since that's what I have, you know, I haven't ever been able to take any real security precautions beyond the normal because I needed, I, I couldn't afford to have security plugins screwing up access to my site for other things. So those are the main benefits of WP Engine as far as I'm concerned. What it really did is solve a long standing headache. Um, Okay, any other questions here? Looks like I got all of them otherwise. Okay, Brian asks, what does a C name do? It's essentially an alias. Um, you know, it's a way of, of routers talking to each other. There are essentially three systems that you could use to make sure that your your URL, your domain name, resolves your website. There is first, um, if your web host has their own name servers, then all you have to do is point your domain name to those name servers. But it doesn't work that way with uh, WP Engine because they don't have their own name servers. So then um, you have either a C name or an A record. Those are your two choices. The C and, and they both work uh, similarly. You can only use one or the other, though. You can't use both. Um, and the C name is pretty simple to do, so that's why I chose to. That's why I do it that way, and that's why I chose to do it in the demonstration. It's essentially an an alias, so that the server, when it goes to the um, the server goes to the host that is um, uh, hosting the domain. That server um, pushes out the C name, and then the web, uh, and then the the uh, domain name is re re resolved that way. So it's just an alias. Um, Lorenzo says, "What point does one need a dedicated environment?" Well, I don't know. You know, I'm getting 100,000 hits a month on my site, and I don't need a dedicated environment. Um, let's see, where is that? Um, let's go to BYOB website. 101,244 over 30 days and 32.8 gigabytes of uh, storage, 35.6 gigabytes of bandwidth over 30 days, and my site works at that at this speed. So I wouldn't myself get a dedicated server until I felt like the speed of my site was unacceptable. Um, I probably am going to get their dedicated server system um, but that would probably be, be but that would be because I am 
um, I'm going to essentially offer my members a discounted at some point. So, you know, this isn't a solution for anybody today, but offer members, um, you know, sort of a managed hosting system that includes uh, the WP Engine thing. And so, um, but that's down the road. Brian says, what level of site do I use in WP Engine? Um, yeah, uh, I have a dedicated IP address. It's this one right here, 23-239-17107. That's my dedicated IP address. Um, I'm going to also add SSL to this um, in the relatively near future, although I don't really expect it to have much impact on me, but I'm still going to do that anyway. What level of site? You know, I have no idea what you mean by that, Brian. I'm going to unmute your microphone. Oh, oh, what level did I purchase? Okay, I purchased the professional. So I purchased the $100 a month thing, $99 a month. Um, right now, I go over that to the tune of 6 or $7 a month because they... They charge me. They charge me another dollar for every um, thousand uh, sites or, or visits over a hundred thousand. So that's my let's see dashboard. That's the plan I have. Yeah, this period, um, last period was one hundred five thousand four thirty eight. So I, I ended up paying another six dollars on top of the hundred dollars. Uh, Kent asks if you sign up with WP Engine, do you cancel your web hosting on Bluehost and and have the demand at Bluehost? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I use um, I haven't hosted BYOB website at Bluehost for years, but I still keep all my domains there. So. WP Engine is not in a position to be your domain name registrar anyway, so um, it doesn't really matter. Um, you, you, you'd need to keep, maintain a domain name registrar, and Bluehost is a registrar. Chances are, you if you've got a Bluehost site, you've got your domain name through them. So.